Hi there, I hope you're all fine. This is part two of the lesson relative pronouns. Let's go and get started. We're going to talk today about these, who, who's, that, where, and when. The main questions we're going to answer are when do we use them? How do we use them? Where do we use them? Okay, let's get started and see the first example. The woman is my mother, she wears glasses. You might have noticed that we're talking about my mother and she, which means the same thing. In other words, we are repeating the same thing two times. And of course, this is not accurate, appropriate language. Instead, we can say, the woman who wears glasses is my mother. What we're doing here, we use relative pronoun who, or we can also use that to specify and clarify the woman we're talking about. So the woman who are, we are talking about is the one who wears glasses. All right. So you might have seen here that we have she, which is a woman. You can also talk about a man, a boy, or a girl, or anybody right which means a person so who is used when we talk about people person next the second example the boy always gets great marks his jacket is blue so the boy we are talking about is the boy who has who has remember this who has or who possesses the boy who owns a jacket and that jacket is blue so we can say the boy whose jacket is blue always gets great marks so relative clause is this whose jacket is blue so whose you might have noticed we use it when we have his my her etc and all that means we have possession possessive case okay perfect let's move on to number three i'll always remember the house i was born there the same thing as above house there that's the same thing the same place which means that we have repeated the, the same thing two times which is not again a good thing to to do in and using language so we might say i'll always remember the house where i was born so this where helps us to avoid repetition and redundancy okay be careful though that we need here to use a subject right after the word where so I'll always remember the house where I or it can be any other subject so remember this you the plus a subject otherwise if we don't have the subject here we're going to say which okay great let's move on to the last example I'll never forget the day I met my best friend that day 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 again repetition okay great so to avoid that repetition we can say i'll never forget the day when i met my best friend all right day day and when all of this we use it when we have time so briefly and generally speaking let's recap who we use it when we have a person who's when we have possession Pla um, where when we have a place and when when we talk about timing all right so this is it generally speaking about relative pronouns of course if you have any questions you are very welcome